What's good, everybody? It's D. Brown Shahan. Today, we're talking about five historic moments that 2K has missed out on cashing in on, so far anyway, and that they haven't put into my team, and they'll never put into my team. I know for a fact they won't put these specific... But I know that 2K won't put any of these cards in the game because of where they come from. The reason that I admire these moments so much is the exact reason why they won't be in 2K. So without any further ado, let's get into it. At number five, this moment was absolute hilarity for me. And it was at a time where Rajon Rondo was still playing good. He was still a great player, but it was the moment when Rajon Rondo threw the ball off of Anderson Vergeau's nutsack, trying to keep it in bounds. Yes, I know, very gruesome, very harsh, but Rajon Rondo is a player who will do anything to win, and throwing the ball off of Anderson Vergeau's nutsack deserves nothing less than a 97 overall diamond Rajon Rondo. And number four is former N1 player Skip Tamalu, better known as Rafer Austin, toying with Sasha Verge, Sasha Vuj, Vuj, I. Sasha Vujicic from the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, everybody knows that Skip Tamalu had handles. Ray for Austin was an one. Then he came to the NBA where he didn't, you know, he didn't always use the and one movie. But when he did, it made for some very entertaining moments. And Virgil, I keep saying Virgil, Vujicic literally got mad that he was getting put on skates. So that was pretty funny. I feel like, you know, give him a little, give him a little Ruby car with Hall of Fame ankle breaker. And that will make a perfect 2k card that'll make the perfect card for a budget team and number three we got bruce bowen the former spurs lockdown defender hitting wally zerbiak with a power ranger extendo kick trying to contest the three-point shot bruce bowen was a master of closing out you know getting the hand in the face he was a master of contesting shots but on this play specifically uh his his uh his lockdown defender badge Hall of Fame, it, it lit up out of Zerbiak. And then Wally Zerbiak turned up and like had a career night right after that, which is funny. So Bruce Bowen deserves a Ruby card with, you know, of course, Hall of Fame lockdown defender. And Wally Zerbiak deserves an Amethyst card with a 99 three-point rating because after he got kicked in the face, he turned into Stephen Curry, basically. And at number two, we have one of my favorite moments in NBA history. Tracy McGrady, when he was on the Orlando Magic, so this was either, this was between 2002 or 2003, maybe even 2001, but something happened, I don't even remember what happened, but whatever it was, it ticked T-Mac off to the point where he grabbed the ball and he did his best, I don't know any punters' names, I was going to say Adam Vinatieri. But uh, that nigga is a kicker. He's not a pun. I don't know, man. But he grabbed the ball, and he literally booted it into the stands. He booted the ball in the middle of a live NBA game. He booted the ball into the stands. And this is this is Orlando Magic T-Mac. This is T-Mac when he was averaging, you know, 32 points. So this man is the best scorer in the NBA, and he booted the ball into the stands. And you think that's bad? Nah, it's only in there. They, they gave him a tech. They gave him a tech. They're like, yo, T-Mac, yo, tech, you can't boot the ball into the stands. And in the crowd, they threw the ball back on the court. What did T-Mac do? T-Mac was like, nah, nah, it ain't over, nigga. It ain't over, nigga. He ran, grabbed the ball again, booted even higher into the stands. That's legendary. Epic moment. Epic moment in NBA 2K history. And it deserves a pink diamond Tracy McGrady card. And last but not least... One of the most controversial moments in NBA 2K history, the Los Angeles Lakers, the New York Knicks, Kobe Bryant, Chris Childs. Kobe Bryant and Chris Childs in 2000, April of the year 2000, got into a little match of fisticuffs where Chris Childs landed an infamous two-piece on the Black Mamba, and Kobe took him on the chin and just... He couldn't do nothing with it, really. Chris, Chris Charles, he, he, he got the best of Kobe. He bested him in a match of fisticuffs. But uh, that wouldn't really mean anything because the Lakers would go on to bust ass all season. But that show of bravery and resilience from Chris Charles to fight the Black Mamba deserves a diamond card. Yes. I don't know Chris Charles 
outside of him fighting Kobe. Don't know none of the stats. Don't know what he's ever done. Uh, so I, I don't know what that card will look like. I just know he needs he needs to be rewarded for having the the gall, the stones, the cojones to stand up to the Mamba, even though it was early Mamba. And we know how in my team, when they release a new pack of players, they have a pack name, like the, the Ice Cold pack, the, the Closers, the High Flyers, just like all of that. This one needs to be called the Savages, you know? And like once you collect every card in the collection, you will get a Pink Diamond Michael Jordan card when he called Muggsy Bogues, uh, excuse my French, Midget. 2K should get on it, but we all know they are not going to do that. They're not going to do that. They, they couldn't do that. NBA wouldn't allow them to do that. It would highlight, you know, the, the bad moments in the NBA. But they should because it would be funny. But we know 2K don't care about what we want. It's sad, man. But maybe one day 2K will hear us out and they'll listen to the things that we want. But until then, we're just here on YouTube videos expressing our opinions and wants.